Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to my class. This is our third class. Uh, before uh, the class before have been studied about the history of pesticide use, and then the last week we study about the entomology, and also we study about the morphology of insect and now we move to the next uh, agenda we will study about the classification of insect how important the classification in uh, in this study yeah. okay the first uh, let's see the picture this is the praying mantis have you ever seen this insect this is a predator as you can see, the front leg, uh, the front leg of this, uh, is this insect is is for capturing the prey. It's for capture the prey. It's for menangkap mangsa, ya. Uh, this is a predator. Okay, then uh, we move to the next slide. I hope. Uh, I hope you can enjoy all of the session today and I hope you get a fruitful learning and if you have a question please ask to me in the next zoom class okay okay the first thing what is scientific classification how important the uh, classification Okay. Scientific classification is a system to uh, use to classify all living things, not only insects. So all of the living things have a classification system through breakdown, starting the largest group into the smallest group. Yeah. So this is what is scientific classification so this is for classify all living things for example in corn in corn this is the general general grouping and then uh, break down into the into the specific grouping from domain kingdom phylum class order order family genus and species and how to write the species is a uh, italic so you have you have ital, uh, you have to write italic in laptop or you can uh, underline when you uh, when you write the spaces in handwriting okay uh, where do insect fit yeah insect belong in the film of arthropoda Actually, arthropoda has many classification also. We can uh, see the classification of arthropod after this uh, slide. The film arthropod is characterized by having segmented bodies. So, this the film uh, arthropoda. Arthropod is not only insect, but uh, there is a silly, uh, there is a crustacean. And then there is a uh, millipede, centipede, and other we can find in the next slide. Having segmented bodies, as you can see, as you can, uh, as as you know that the insect have a three main part of the body, starting from head, and then thorax, and then abdomen. Okay. Insect can be placed into grouping based on their physical character characteristic. So, insect with similar characteristic, for example, number of wings, the types of mouth part, placed in the same group, yeah, placed in a group with other insect that possess the same characteristic. So, actually, the insect have uh, many ordo, yeah. Ordo Coleoptera uh, uh, as in uh, uh, the, the example in bug is different with 
is different with uh, Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera, for example, uh, the 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 butterfly and moth. Yeah, for example, how to make a grouping in an insect. Uh, I have a one uh, one insect insect A and insect B. For example, insect A have a most part. The, the adult have a siphoning mouth part, uh, spiral mouth, uh, spiral shape, and then uh, the type B, uh, it's same have a uh, have a what's it have a circular shape of the uh, mouth, the mouth. And the moth part, uh, the 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 moth type is uh, siphoning. It uh, so it poses it same. It's the same ordo, okay. And then um, identif identification of insect is in prevention and management plans. So why we should uh, identify the insect? It's important. Before we uh, know how to control the pest and how to manage the pest, we have to know the identification first. If we know the identification, so we will uh, know not only the name of the insect, but also we, so we will know the life cycle of this insect. Is it holometabola? Is it paurometabola or hemimetabola or ametabola? And then we will know where is the habitat of that place yeah and uh, what is the behavior for example what where is the habitat is that in the uh, leaf is that the habitat is in the branch or in the root so we can manage how to control that pest and then we will know the life cycle of the, uh, that pest and etc so we can we can uh, we can thanks the strategy of the, uh, controlling the pest after we know the identification of insect so the identification of insect is crucial part then we move to the next slide uh, five classes of arthropod as i say uh, in the beginning of this uh, class that uh, arthropods have uh, several class, not only insecta, but also there is a silopoda, diplopoda, crustacea, and arachnida. What is the differences? The differences is uh, not only the the shape of the body, but also the segmented body and also how many legs they have. For example, insecta, insect. Uh, as you know that insect has three pairs of legs yeah three pair of legs the legs uh, is attached in thorax and then the second one in is a uh, second one is chilopoda chilopoda is uh, is this this is the chilopod chilopod the centipede or in indonesia we we say lipan how many legs do you have you see this uh, chilopoda uh, it has one pair of legs per segment body yeah one pair of legs per segment body it's different if we uh, move to the diplopoda diplopoda is uh, milli for example in millipedes millipedes in indonesia we can we can say kaki seribu how many legs they have oh this is uh, quite a lot of legs you, can you count the legs this this millipedes actually have uh, two pairs of legs per segment body yeah uh, multiple body segment yeah this different insecta have a uh, three uh, segment body uh, three three main part of the body and have a uh, several segment chilopod chilopod this one have a uh, one pair of leg diplopod uh, two pairs of leg and then crustacean 
crustacea and for example crayfish uh, it have uh, it has uh, five pairs of jointed appendix five pairs and then we move to arachnid arachnid for example we can find it in spider spider scorpion scorpion uh, in indonesia we say ala jengking mats is tungau has uh, four pairs of legs okay yeah and yeah, this is the uh, the arachnid it's the spider arachnida ya yeah. arachnid or spider this is the scorpion okay then uh, we move to the next slide insect order how many order we have it's quite a lot of order in this world <clears throat> there are three 31 different order of insect in the class of of hexapoda or insecta so we can say insecta or hexapoda it's the same 15 of which consider of economic importance to agriculturists yeah, uh, the 15 uh, the uh, 15 of ordo is considered uh, have uh, economic importance it mean the insect could be act as a pest act as biological control and other uh, the example of order uh, for uh, the uh, you can see uh, orthoptera the example of orthoptera is grasshopper and then hemiptera we can we can uh, see in uh, bug bug kepik ya kepik or or plant hopper plant hopper is warang Coleoptera, Coleoptera, uh, okay, we can say uh, in Indonesia we can see at at kumbang, kumbang ya. Yeah. We can found it in kumbang, kumbang kumbangan ya, yeah. bak kumbang. And then Lepidoptera, Lepidoptera for example in butterfly and moth, Diptera. Uh, yeah in flies flies lalat and mosquito uh, mosquito is belong to uh, order of diptera hymenoptera uh, wasp wasp itu adalah tawon and 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 is belong to hymenoptera order ordo odonata uh, we can found in in what is it Dragonfly, yeah, Neoroptera, Neoroptera. We can found in uh, the species of and lion. And lion is undur undur. Tisanura, yeah, Tisanura is silverfish. Kutu uh, buku, yeah, Tisanura. Isoptera, Isoptera, Isoptera. We can find uh, in the species of termite. Siponoptera uh, fleas, fleas itu kutu kucing. Putiraptera we can found at uh, human lice. Human lice is kutu rambut. Di Sanoptera trips, Dermaptera in Indonesia we uh, we call it cocopet. Blatodia is cockroach and so many insect around of us. So if you want to collect it, uh, you can. Uh, it's really possible to have all of uh, this 15 order because it's we can we can find in in in, uh, in our environment. Okay, at least uh, more than 17 insect order you already know. And then we move to the types of insect leg. Insect legs. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, we we will study about the part of the legs yeah the part of the legs uh, starting from coxa so the coxa is attached uh, to the to the thorax yeah coxa trochanter femur tibia tarsus and pretarsus yeah coxa trochanter femur tibia tarsus and pretarsus and there are five types of legs the first one is uh, saltatorial leg. Saltatorial is for jumping. Salto. Yeah. 
for jumping, for example, in grasshopper. Raptorial is, is for catching the prey. Catching the prey, itu menangkap mangsa. For example, in praying mantis, belalang sembah. And then natatorial legs, for example, in uh, in this uh, bug, uh, this is beetle. This is a uh, beetle, it has uh, legs that uh, have uh, like fur in their in their uh, legs yeah this is uh, helping helping this insect to to swim and then fossorial fossorial is uh, the type of leg for digging it's like in a mole cricket cricket is uh, un, um sorry i forgot the name Orang-orang ya. In Indonesia we uh, we say orang-orang ya. And then cursorial legs, cursorial like in this picture, is it for running and walking? For example, in cockroach. So there there are several types of leg, and the function is different. The first one we wa uh, uh, we will study about the order of Orthoptera. Uh, uh, <coughs> we can find uh, the orthoptera in uh, for example in cricket cricket is apa uh, jangkrik and then grasshopper uh, this is grasshopper and then this is cricket this is small cricket this is small cricket or orang-orang ya this is small cricket and then this is uh, stone grasshopper belalang batu and this is uh, lalang pedang the most part is biting and chewing biting they bite and then they chewing yeah uh, we already studied the type of mouth part in the last week session the metamorphosis the metamorphosis is power metabola or gradual metamorphosis starting from the egg and then the nymphae and then the adult the there is a several several stage of nympha of nymph stage in star one in star two and star three in star four for example in star five and then at the adult every single uh, every single in star is Every single instar is characterized by molting. Molting is uh, the change of cuticle in insect. Yeah, uh, and uh, we can found exuvium. Exuvium is the is the old skin of that insect. So, uh, okay. And then we move to the next. Okay, yeah. I hope you can understand what I mean. Power metabola, gradual metamorphosis. There is a uh, there is a change from egg and then nymphae and then adult. And in, in, in nymphae, uh, there is a. Uh, that is the change of cuticle yeah? change of cuticle or uh, we can found exuvium exuvium is the old skin that they uh, left behind exuvium kulit lama yang ditinggalkan ya the old exuvia many produce many of this insect produce sounds through stridulating so they can produce uh, the sound by stridulating. What is the stridulating or stridulation? Stridulation is friction between part of the body. Friction is uh, uh, gesekan, yeah. Friction part of the body. And then uh, there are a lot of species worldwide. And uh, as you can see in the picture, this is the in the in the hind leg. In the hind leg of this insect, the types is saltatorial. Uh, this is for jumping. 
yeah and then uh, this is the term of of uh, tecmina tecmina what is tecmina tecmina is the hardened four wings four wing the hardened four wing sayap depan yang mengeras pada ortoptera tecmina is the hardened four wing of ortoptera and the hind wing is membrane so if we uh, stretch the wings the the front wing or the fore wing uh, will be uh, it's harder than the uh, hind wing yeah the hind wing is membrane and the the fore wing is hardened and then insect has tympana tympana is the hearing aid of insect hearing it's for hearing uh, for auditory system auditory this is a membranous external auditory structure uh, you can see in the picture this is a grasshopper this is saltatorial type for salto or for jumping and then this is uh, the in the in the first abdomen you can see tympanum or tympana this is for hearing yeah uh, they uh, didn't have ear, but they have a membrane. So uh, the function is for auditory. Yeah? This is in the first segment yeah, of abdomen. We can see tympanum. Uh, this is several family of orthoptera. Family of tetigonidae. Tetigonidae, like in the picture, uh, you can see in the slide. Uh, it has uh, ovipositor. Ovipositor. Ovipositor is uh, is a part of the body that uh, that is the function is to laying egg, to to laying egg. And then the shape is like a sword, like a sword. Is uh, seperti pedang ya, like a sword. And uh, yeah, this insect can produce the sound by the friction of the wings and the hind femur okay so they uh, they uh, there is a friction okay second uh, wings and hind femur and then the second one is family of cricket cricket uh, chancric active at night or uh, the term is nocturnal active at night and then the sound is produced by friction of the front wing in male insect so uh, the the cricket uh, will produce the uh, sound by the friction of front wing so they 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 fric they friction yeah or we can say we can say that uh, they 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 uh, sweeping the uh, the wings and the front wings, yeah, they sweeping the front wings in cricket. Uh, and then the second one is uh, mole cricket, mole cricket, or in Indonesia we we say orang orang. The uh, the type of legs is fossorial, is uh, for digging the ground, digging the ground, and then. Uh, is this basic also has timpana but the the location of the timpana is different uh, in in great in in acrididae in this uh, grasshopper we can found in the first abdomen but in this grillatalpidae or in mole cricket we can find the timpana in the tibia of the front leg so the location is different and then the acrididae. Acrididae is a common grasshopper. The hearing aid or uh, tympana we can find the first segment of abdomen and uh, the the shape is membrane. And the sound is produced by friction or stridulating front wing uh, friction when flying. Or, or uh, the, this, they, they, pro, they, this insect, the grasshopper, can produce the sound by by sweeping front wing when flying. Yeah, sweeping to mengesekan or uh, friction, gesekan. 
or friction gesekan ya friction of the forewing with the femur of the hind leg so there are uh, two different kind of uh two different way of insect this of this uh common grass open to produce to produce the sound the first one is the sweeping the or the friction of the front wing and then the second one is the sweeping the for uh, the four wing with the femur of hind leg jadi gesekan antara sayap depan dengan femur tungkai belakang ya. then we move to the hemiptera this is true box uh, we can find in a plant hopper plant hopper in Indonesia we say it wereng cicadas uh, tonggeret bak kepik dan lain sebagainya kutu-kutuan uh, ya moth part uh, the type of moth is piercing and sucking Uh, as you can see in the picture the this is the shape of the piercing and sucking yeah uh, the the this type of most part is like a needle they can uh, sucking the sap of plant menghisap cairan tanaman ya the metamorphosis is gradual metamorphosis uh, or is called power metabola starting from the egg nymphae and then adult in nymphae there uh, they are in star 1 in star 2 in star 3 in star 4 and another yeah uh, many insects have a four insect and other insect have a five insect is different and uh, the change from the for example from the instar 1 into instar 2 into instar 3 is characterized by molting uh, by molt, uh, molting molting is the the change of the exoskeleton the change of the skins uh, okay yeah i hope you understand uh, it has two pair of wings and then the four wing the the four wing uh, of uh, of this insect is called hamiltonian the hardened four wing yeah uh, in L, in uh, in a beetle in a beetle the 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 for the front wing the four wing of the insect is called elytra but in hemi in, in hemipteran insect the four wing is called hemilitron is is different the thumb is different uh, the foot and salivary duct are found in the stilet so the stilet is sucking the sap of the plant is sucking the uh, nutrition of the plant yeah sucking the foot and then this is the reduvidae reduvidae is a uh, example of insect that is a uh, predator the the predator the insect that is uh, the predator and the and and uh, phytophag or xs pass is different the one of uh, dif the, the differences between the pass and then the the predator in hemipteran insect is the is the stilet the stilet in predator is uh, shorter and strong but in the uh, in the herbivore of or as pass is longer longer and this is thin thin and longer okay uh, yeah, this 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 uh, stilet we can find below the abdomen yeah and then we move to the next to the next uh, insect the order is coleoptera the example is beetle beetle yeah there are several uh, there are several uh, example of of uh, of uh, family for this is karabidae karabidae is a uh, kumbang tanah in indonesia karabidae uh, this is found in uh, uh, in the surface of of ground 
ya yeah. uh, this we feel commonly found in the ground and this is brandy day in indonesia we can call it kumbang moncong this is also karambi day we can find in the ground on the ground and then this is karabai day this is also karabai day uh, this is the pass of the palm oil yeah this is the adult of scarabay day and this is the larvae of scarabay day this, is, this larvae is quite big and the and the shape is like uh, the letter of c okay the metamorphosis is uh, the most part is biting and chewing uh, in larvae uh, and also in adult is uh, the same biting and chewing and the metamorphosis is hollow metabola complete metamorphosis starting from egg larvae pupae and adult and then uh, it's the same yeah all of the insect uh, need to change their skins yeah uh, need to change their exoskeleton yeah from uh, the larvae in star one uh, change into in star uh, two in star three in star four in star five yeah uh, it's characterized by molting also yeah the change of cuticle and the larger uh, larger cover is uh, produced and the, the size of the larvae is is, is bigger than before Beetles are group uh, of insect uh, that all for the that the form is order Coleoptera. The four wing of uh, this weave, this beetle is called elytra. You you yeah the hardened four wing is elytra and the larva the larva of scarabidae. This is the larva of scarabidae and the uh, this resemble the letter of C and the type is scarabae form. Yeah, scarabae form and the larva of scarabae form is found in the ground so uh, so uh, I will explain you how is the how is the life cycle of of this uh, palm oil pass so uh, the first one is a actually the egg uh, the the adult uh, laying eggs is in the is is on the ground in a, a ground that has uh, organic compound organic uh, material that yeah? uh, organic material to bahan -bahan organic yes yeah? the the and then after egg and then the egg is hatched into the larvae uh, the larvae will get the food from the uh, organic 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 material and then and then the the larvae uh, there is in star one star two in star three and then change into the pupae uh, and then uh, ad the adult the adult the habitat is uh, is on the plant on the on the palm oil and then this is cerambicidae the family of cerambicidae the speciality, the unique of this insect is from uh, is the antenna. This is antenna. Uh, this uh, the antenna is long, as you can see in the picture. And this the habitat of this lar larvae is uh, is in the branch. Yeah, it is in the branch of the tree. Or in Indonesia we can say penggerek, uh, pengg penggerek, ya. penggerek batang ya ini this penggerek batang. The borer, the borer ya, this is the stem borer. Okay, stem borer in Indonesia we say penggerek batang ya. Then we move to the next slide, Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera, we can find uh, Lepidoptera in butterfly and moth. It's different with butterfly and moth. Uh, I think I already explained to you that the butterfly has a colorful wings than 
the moths have a dual wings and um, the color is not attractive <laughs> it's like a black and or gray or or uh, brown and etc the moth part is uh, different in the larvae and the adult the larvae or the caterpillar the moth part is biting and chewing biting and chewing and the adult is siphoning and uh, you see in the picture this is the spiral one and uh, the, the this is like a spiral and uh, this is for uh, this uh, this the type is siphoning this is for sucking the nectar so if they uh, didn't eat nectar they will uh, the sip is like that but if they sucking the nectar uh, they will uh, expand their their mouth so they can suck the nectar into the flower the metamorphosis is complete metamorphosis as you can uh, as, as you know uh, holometabola holometabola Lepidoptera species are characterized by more than three de de derived feature. Yeah, the most apparent is the prison of scale. Yeah, they have a different scales that cover all of the body. The scale itu sisik ya. They have scale uh, in all over of the body, and the and the if you catch the butterfly or moth, uh, maybe the scale will uh, break down and uh, you can uh, you, you can find the scale in your hand yeah just a meter if you collect this insect you have to uh, be careful because of because of that scale is easy to uh, easy to to break down yeah? so uh, the the wings will be destroyed so and wings and proboscis yeah this is called proboscis yeah proboscis it's like a tube that is spiral it's like pro, uh, this uh, uh, this is proboscis as for sucking the nectar okay uh, the scale are modified flatten hair and give butterfly and moth the wide variety of color and pattern this scale uh, will yeah, give the butterfly and moth color and pattern. They will, uh, you know, yeah, they they give uh, the scale give but uh, give, give butterfly and moth with a variety of color and pattern. One species is different with another species. It's really colorful. This is, this is fairy, yeah. Butterfly is active during the day or diurnal, nanti pada siang hari. And then, well, moth is active in the night or the term is nocturnal or crepuscular. Crepuscular is uh, active in twilight, uh, yeah. Twilight period or senja dibilangnya ya. Twilight. Butterfly usually have bright color wings and moth well moth have a dull and dark color wings yeah and then we move to the diptera what insect that belong into diptera the insect that belong to diptera uh, is like kind of uh, flies and then kinds of mosquito the moth part is uh, piercing and sucking the metamorphosis is hulu metabola is complete metamorphosis and then uh, it start from the uh, egg and then larvae and then pupae and then adult so uh, the uh, the fact uh, d uh, diptera uh, from the dairy from the greek the word D is mean two and then uh, the ptera is mean wings yeah and so the meaning is deep ptera is uh, two wings but 
in the in the flies the hind wing is modified into halter yeah the hind wing is modified into halter is is to balancing when flying okay and then the halter as x speed sensor of rotational movement and allow dipteran to perform advanced aerobatic yeah so we already study it uh, in last week session and uh, these diptera are common as a factor of disease yeah factor of disease on on a human and also on uh, other animal and then we move to hymenoptera hymenoptera we can uh, we can find in ants or in wasp the mouth part is biting and chewing the, uh, the metamorphosis is incomplete metamorphosis this is uh, this is danger if you if you if you uh, see this uh, do not catch this insect by your bare hand but you uh, please uh, use uh, use uh, net because if you stung if you uh, because this insect have a sting yeah have a sting in in the in this abdomen so you can stung by this insect so be careful many of these are parasitic uh, females typically have a ov ovipositor yeah ovipositor is like uh, is for laying eggs is or inserting eggs into the host and then the ovipositor is often modified into a stinger penyengat yeah the ovipositor uh, the location of the opis, uh, the ovipositor is in here so many ovipositor uh, is modified into stinger so if uh, they are treated by others so uh, they will stung that uh, animal or, hu or human contain all social insect social insect is uh, insect uh, that uh, living together and uh, that there is uh, some casta yeah or what is casta in english okay yeah. oh this, so it is con contain all the social insect many uh, cast or in indonesia casta yeah there are several cast in in social insect there is a worker cast and then there is a uh, <clears throat> there is a soldier cast and other we will study uh, in the next slide social insect uh, like ants bees wasps wasp tawon bees lebah and semut <clears throat> have organized societies they have one or few female responsible for all egg laying yeah? uh, they are uh, there is a uh, females that act as a queen yeah uh, queen the cast of queen kastanya adalah kastanya ratu and while other member of the colony gather food and do other tasks uh, usually that uh, the cast that uh, the function is gather food is a uh, soldier uh, sorry no worker worker is for gather food then the soldier is uh, for fighting Okay, we move to the next uh, ordo odonata. Odonata. Uh, the example is dragonfly and damselfly. What is the difference? This is dragonfly. The common, the common, uh, the common dragonfly belong to Anisoptera. Dragonfly. Yeah? Uh -huh. This is uh, different. Uh, the, this one is damselfly. Damselfly is a capung jarum. What is the differences? The differences is when the the dragonfly when they are resting, the the when they are resting, the what is it? The wings is stretch. Huh? Is is stretched like that? Yeah, is stretching like that. 
Okay, so it's stretch sideways, sideways, yeah. And it stretch like that, stretch sideways. Then uh, this uh, Japung Jerum or damsel fly is different. Well, this uh, species is resting. Uh, the the mean uh, I I my uh, the resting I mean uh, well they are not flying is called resting yeah well while they resting so the the what is it the the wings will uh, upper the body of the insect yeah okay this is different yeah the the anisoptera the subordo of anisoptera stretch sideways like that while resting and then the damsel fly if the this insect is resting so the wings will uh, will st will stretch like that yeah okay, upper the body and then the naiad life in the water, yeah, yeah. And so the metamorphosis having metabola, egg in the a in the water, and then naiad in the water also. And then the adult is free living. Dragonfly and damselfly. The subordo is different. One uh, uh, anisoptera and another. Another damselfly is the zygoptera. Yeah? Z uh, the, the, the damselfly is usually smaller than the dragonfly. Okay, yeah? And uh, this damselfly, as I told you before, that the uh, wings are placed over the abdomen while resting. Different with uh, the uh, dragonfly. The common data fly, and then this is Neuroptera. We can find the Neuroptera in in the species of N lion. And what is N lion? N lion is in Indonesia. We, we say it undur undur. This is the home. This is the trap that uh, have been uh, made by this insect undur undur. This is the larvae of the insect, and that this is. The adult of this insect. What is the differences with the dragonfly? This is, this is really different. You have to to know the uh, the the differences. The differences is. Uh, do you see the antenna here? Yeah, there is antenna here, but it's really small. The antenna is commonly cetaceous. The 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 type. Yeah, the type is cetaceous. And this is uh, uh, it. It will, it will. Uh, it you you will know the. You will see this antenna uh, by using the microscope, but this is uh, really different. The antenna is uh, longer. Yeah? This is the differences. The quick way to identify yeah? where is the uh, where is the dragonfly where is the dragonfly and where is the end lion the adult end lion is all neo all neoroptera insect as a predator yeah so this is a good insect because the in in the environment they act as a predator is capturing prey this is this is for biological agent and then we move to the tisanura tisunera silverfish uh, in Indonesia, we uh, we say it uh, kutu buku, and uh, the most part is by the and chewing. In this is the uh, this insect have no metamorphosis, or uh, we say a metabola no metamorphosis. Yeah, uh, we can find this insect in uh, old library or in the old cupboard, and then etc. They 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 move very fast. <laughs> And then the Mantodia, all of the Mantodia, all of the species in Mantodia is also is also a predator. So this is this Mantodia is good because they uh, they will uh, prey the other species that uh, that is pest. Yeah, this is for biological agent. The metamorphosis is Paurometabola. 
you uh, you see uh, many fa many family of this insect this is hemenopodidae the the motif is like that this is mantidae mantidae the, like common praying mantis why this insect is uh, called praying mantis because the four legs are held uh, resembling prayer yeah, this insect is the looks is uh, really resemble the position of prayer <laughs> okay the forewing is hardened hardened called tegmina also and the and the hind wing is membrane next we move to the next ordo the uh, the another order is isoptera iso is the same or is equal Ptera is a wing so the 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 order is refers to uh, the same the same wings uh, yes you can see in the picture the forelink and the hind wing is the same yeah so it's called isoptera it's equal size of the fore and hind wing Life in a colony, and this is a also social insect. Have many cast, have many casta. Yang punya casta. This is the uh, this is the queen. As you can uh, see in the picture, this is the 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 head, and then this is the thorax, and the rest of the body is the abdomen. Look how big is this queen? Why this queen is big? Because the the abdomen is full of eggs. Uh, the 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 task of this queen is for laying eggs. So uh, all of the all of the time in their life is uh, is only to producing eggs. Uh, they uh, this uh, this queen this termite queen is uh, they cannot move. How how to how to eat uh, this insect? So they the 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 cast of worker is feeding this queen, uh, feeding as queen, and another cast is uh, for uh, building the nest. And the, 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 there is uh, this is the worker. This is uh, for the function is for building the nest and then feeding the queen and then to repair the nest and another and then this is the soldier the two uh, type of soldier this is soldier mandibulate and this, this is soldier is nasuti the look at the head of this insect the soldier this mandibulate have uh, like uh, the they have uh, like a uh, tapit uh, on the head and the nasuti the shape is like that this is the soldier to fight yeah to fight okay yeah okay laying a soldier does to protect the colony from if invaders yeah to protect the colony to fight and then the worker is gather food feeding the queen repairing the nest a belt the nest another so the the worker have many many tasks uh, many tasks than the other uh, cast lay egg every 15 seconds and uh, they eat wood they can destroy a house and then uh, this is Siponaptera and Ptiraptera. Siponaptera, we, uh, the example of this insect is fleas. Fleas is uh, flea is uh, kutu kucing dan kutu anjing. Yeah, a flea is uh, uh, we can find in a cat and in dog. And the mouth part is piercing and sucking. This is cat flea. Cat flea. Uh, if you have cat in 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 your house. Uh, you can maybe you can find this flea in this fur in the uh, in cat fur the metamorphosis is holometabola uh, uh, can live uh, 100 days without feeding you can uh, you can imagine 
100 days without feeding and can jump 100 times their own life. They can jump really far. The females can consume more than 15 times their body weight daily. So if they have uh, the right host, the right uh, host, host is mean inner, uh, they can consume 15 times uh, of their body weight. Can you imagine how, how many, uh, how many blood they can suck? Because the siponaptera, the most part is piercing and sucking, and they 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 eat blood. Also, Piraptera. Piraptera is lice, human lice. We can we can find in human lice. Human lice is kutu rambut. If you uh, in your childhood maybe when you was a kid, uh, you have uh, uh, lice in your hair. Uh, this is yeah. This is the 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 species. You see the you see the you see the uh, lack of this insect. Why this insect is hard to remove from your hair because you see on the legs it's really strong to handle those uh, to hanging on the hair. Uh, the the most part uh, there is two two kind. Some of the species have uh, biting and chewing, and some of the species in pursing and sucking. In uh, hu uh, human lice, they eat blood. So, yeah, if if you have uh, lice, uh, please remove all of the lice in your hair because uh, maybe you can you will get a really uncomfortable because of that's really uh, oh my god i want to stretch my hair every time uh, they 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 eat your blood some of the species wingless wingless yeah they do not have wing and then this is blatodia blatodia uh, we can see uh, the example in cockroach you can see this is the uh, package of egg uh, packet telur yeah package of it is really hard and it's really really hard to break uh, and even the chemical of uh, the chemical pesticide is really hard to uh, to get inside into this uh, egg, pack egg package it's hard to insert. it's hard to insert yeah. it's hard to penetrate the mouth part is plateau, uh, biting and chewing. The metamorphosis is pro metabola or gradual metamorphosis. Uh, the type of flex is uh, cursorial. Cursorial is uh, cursorial is for uh, walking and running. Yeah, epimeroptera. Epimeroptera. Uh, the example is mayflies. Mayflies in Indonesia we say lalat sehari. Why is called uh, may, uh, lalat sehari? Because uh, this insect on, uh, can only live. The adult of this insect uh, is only can live one day because the most part of uh, of Epimeroptera is reducted. They they didn't have uh, most uh they they didn't have mouth a mouth part mouth they didn't have mouth here so they cannot eat so that's why the adult of this insect on life one day the fact is nayat is aquatic is the this insect is uh is used as a fresh weather indicator so when you see the epimeroptera in your in your this is the this is the nayat of this insect and then this is the adult of this insect the nayat is in the water and then uh, the adult is uh, free living in the air and then maybe the last one the ordo uh, dermaptera and testanoptera dermaptera in indonesia we say uh, cocopet uh, the ear wings in English, 
uh, mouth part is by the entering the metamorphosis is paurometabola what is paurometabola paurometabola is gradual metamorphosis starting from egg and then nymphae uh, atau nymph and then adult in the nymph there is a several uh, a chains of cuticle chains of cuticle yeah Uh, there is in star 1, in star 2, and star 3, in star 3, in star 4, and star 5. Uh, yeah. The uh, the change from the in star 1 and into in star 2 is characterized by molting, yeah, molting. Okay, yeah. all of the uh, Dermaptera insect uh, is a predator. And this is really unique part uh, in the in the abdomen, in the posterior part of the body. There is uh, like uh, it's like a, a chapit, yes. It's it's for uh, it's called cerci. It's for oviposition du during mating, but it's not only it's, it's not only for mating, but also it's it's for It's for a fighting and uh, also it's for uh, folding the folding the wings. Okay, it's for folding the wings for a copulation or mating and then for fighting and then uh, the cerci is also for uh, for helping to folding the wings. The front wing is called also tegmina and while the hind wing is same. This anoptera, this uh, you can see in the picture, these strips. Uh, you can uh, you can find this insect or in uh, pohon beringin. Uh, pohon beringin. What is pohon beringin? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pohon beringin is uh, banyan tree. Yeah. The metamorphosis is holometabola. It's complete metamorphosis. It's commonly passed on flower, citrus, and onion. And this is strips. And then the last one is I have a video that really, really nice video. Uh, we will watch together. Let's go inside one of the most remarkable, most fascinating, and well, most disgusting places on okay, earth. Okay, and we mean that in the, the best sense of the word. Let's go inside a termite nest, a factory ventilated by air shafts, where termites produce. This is the adult of the termite. Uh, this is the queen of the insect. Uh, you see, you, you say we, uh, you, you You're attended by see before sterile worker that the queen is you, uh, half a big abdomen or you aren't acting helpless because eggs. you think you need royal treatment. You the function is for uh, laying eggs. See, a termite queen's head yeah, this is termite queen. The rest of the termites in the colony. Uh, the head, thorax, and then the rest of the body is the abdomen. Of an abdomen. How many eggs can this body produce? Yeah, how many eggs uh, this uh, you say precious produce? Maybe. Thirty thousand eggs per day, and then three hundred sixty-five days per year. Oh my God, this is a lot of eggs produced by this insect. Wow, it's really bad. <laughs> The test of worker, worker to uh, this is worker also eggs, and then the carpe, pupe, and dolls. Okay, this is the soldier. Soldier is for uh, protecting all the colony.
Okay, then we move to the next slide. Let's go inside. One of the most okay, this is the last one, I think, before we finish the class. What is edible insect? Edible insect is... Uh, insect as food. Insect can be eaten. Some of a uh, region in Indonesia consume insect as one of the protein source. Yeah? And also... Uh, uh, so yeah, you can see the picture. Many people consume the consume the insects, uh, and I I ever went to the Europe, and I also uh, ever consume these insects. It's really high uh, protein, yeah. And in the future, maybe this insect uh, would be one of the one of the protein source. Yeah. So we will not depend anymore only on meat. Insect as a food and the culture or biological process of eating insect is described as entomophagy. Okay, then uh, the last session is individual work, resume, and video. Okay, and then uh, the next week is a group work. Group work, you have to present something. Yeah, the group one, you have to present rodentia classification of red, especially ticus. Yeah, group two and red and the life cycle, and then group three, group four, five, uh, six have to. Uh, present about TBS, LTBS, and Gropiokan, and the biological control of red, yeah. And uh, I will give you a template of uh, four points, so you have to use that template. So all of the of all of the group have the same template. Uh, you have to you have to uh, make slides using English and you have to present in English too because this is international class uh, ma maximum five slides and in five minutes per group okay yeah. I think this is enough for today I hope uh, you have a, have a nice uh, meeting today and you you get uh, more knowledge about insect I hope you uh, happy with uh, study with me and we we will have another session after that okay see you uh, thank you and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh